Hello everybody, how are you today? I'm on the Oasis of the Seas. I'm gonna do a full tour. This is Jason here. I hope you enjoy it. Let's go ahead and get started. By the way, to win a free cruise, make sure you tune in to our next premiere. To be able to watch the premiere, you'll need to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified. I'll provide you more information at the end of the video. We're gonna start the tour off on the Lido deck and take a look at the pools. We're gonna look at the two first pools more toward the back of the ship and we're gonna make our way to the front. The first pool we're gonna come across is the sports pool. Right up in front of the sports pool is a hot tub. The hot tub overlooks the sports pool. Over to the right, you can see there's plenty of loungers. There's also loungers over here by the windows if you'd like a view. In front of the hot tub is the lime and coconut bar if you'd like to get yourself a drink. In between the sports pool and Splash Away Bay is Central Park. We're gonna take a full tour of Central Park in a minute. To the left is Splash Away Bay. That is the kids' aqua splash park. There are small slides, there's a bigger slide, there's a bucket that dumps thousands of gallons of water throughout the day. If we go up a deck, you'll find a little tiki bar along with comfortable loungers and cabanas. If we're facing the water slides and turn around, we'll find another lime and coconut bar. There are two more pools on the other side. Central Park also separates the two. You can see the balcony cabins down there. If we go to the left side, we'll find the main pool. There is a hot tub which overlooks the main pool. Over to the left are the loungers. There's also a few chairs on the right side as well. Here is where you exit the water slides. And this is pretty cool. There are hot tubs if we go up a dip, which overlook the beach pool and the main pool. So there's hot tubs on either side up a deck. There's also hot tubs in front of each of the pools as well. We saw one at the main pool. There's also another hot tub here in front of the beach pool. One thing I like about the beach pool is that it has the umbrellas if you want to get out of the sun a little bit but still want to be close to the pool. There's also another hot tub here on the other side of the beach pool as well as another exit to one of the water slides. Remember the pools on the other side also have hot tubs as we saw. Up a deck from the beach pool and the main pool are more loungers, cabanas, and really neat places to sit. There's a big couch right here. Right next to the beach pool, you can grab a fresh towel or a life jacket. Going along the beach pool all the way over to the windows are tables and plenty of chairs. Let's go ahead and head on in to the solarium. Before we do, check this out. There is a awesome jacuzzi right before you walk into the solarium. It has beautiful views of the ocean. It hangs off the side of the ship and there's an identical one on the other side. This is the solarium. As soon as we walk in, there is a hot tub. Look at this circular couch. It's perfect for groups who want to enjoy each other's company. Check this out. Look at this pool. This is just a regular cool pool. It's humongous and it's perfect for this area. Cruisers have told me that they have spent the entire cruise just in the solarium because for them, it had everything they needed. It had hot tubs, it has a regular pool. If they wanted to go out to the front of the ship and enjoy the sun on the sun deck, they could do that as well. On the sun deck, you'll find loungers, cabanas, another circular couch, and amazing views. Remember, you're all the way at the front now. The solarium is two decks, so we're gonna head on up a deck and take a look at the bar. So you can also order a drink while you're in the solarium. Just head on up to the bar, grab a drink, and then head on over back to wherever you were enjoying yourself. Now, if you get hungry and would like a bite to eat, there is a buffet area, which is pretty amazing because it's right around the corner from wherever you're hanging. And that's why a lot of people like to 
hang out in this area because it has everything that they need. There's the Solarium Bistro, the Solarium Bar, plenty of places to sit and relax and hang out. And if you want to go get that full sun, you can head on out to the front of the ship, which is pretty amazing. If you're facing Splashaway Bay, up a deck and turn around, you'll go into the Windjammer Marketplace. Right when you walk in, to the right, you'll find lemonade, tea, juices, and coffee. Straight ahead, you'll find many delicious different choices for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Also keep in mind that the Oasis has been renovated, so it is now very similar to the Symphony and the Harmony of the Seas. The great thing is, is that if you'd like to book either one, you can give me a call. All of our clients are extremely happy after they pick up the phone and give us a call because we provide discounted rates. And we do this through many different methods. First of all, we're partnered with Royal Caribbean. So we have group space that we have opened years in advance. Royal Caribbean gives us our own exclusive agency discounts. And we have our own agency discounts that we apply on top of that. So when you book with us, you get the best rate guaranteed. Just keep in mind that to get the best rate guaranteed, you have to call that 1-800 number. You see is what we offer are unpublished rates. They're not posted on any website. These are exclusive agency rates. So make sure you pick up that phone and give us a call. If you'd like to play some games, you can head over to Challengers Arcade. Just remember, these games do not accept money. You'll need your key card. I'm gonna head toward the back of the ship. This is Loco Fresh. This is Mexican cuisine. It's all you can eat, burritos, tacos, salads, quesadillas. Throw as much cheese or as much meat as you like. Then you can head on over to the salsa station and pile up all different types of salsa and hot sauce. If you want to grab one of the tables and chairs, it has a perfect view of the basketball court and the zip line. There's a full basketball court. They also use it to play soccer, volleyball, and dodgeball. There's a great view right here of the boardwalk if you'd like to grab a stool. Across from El Loco Fresh is a barbecue place. So take your pick. While you're hanging out here at the sports court, you can have either Mexican or barbecue. Is what's really cool about this barbecue place is that they have excellent seating outside which have perfect views of the ocean. So it's a lot of fun while you're at sea. Let's take a look at the golf course. I like this golf course. I like the way it's decorated. It has palm trees, surfboards. It has lively decorations. You see a little dolphin jumping out of the water. Down there is the boardwalk. This is also where you zip line. You just zip line right across the boardwalk. We turn around and head toward the back. This is where the flow riders are. This is the flow rider that you surf. So there's a flow rider that you surf and you need to stand up. Good luck, it's not easy. And the other one you can actually boogie board on. This is the ultimate abyss. It's the best slide I've ever been on. You just jump in a sack, get in, and you slide all the way down to the boardwalk. It's amazing. If you have friends or family enjoying the Florida or the Ultimate Abyss and you want to grab a drink, check out Wipeout Bar. On the other side of this deck is the other flow rider. This is the flow rider that you boogie board on. It's a lot easier. So you might want to start off with this one. Right here is where you get on to the zip line and you can see it's a long way down. If we go right past Loco Fresh, I just wanted to show you real quick that there are some ping pong tables. Also on this deck, you'll find the Paddy Dive Center. Let's head on down to Central Park. Central Park is on deck eight. And look at this, this is really cool. Right when you walk onto Central Park, you find the Rising Tide Bar. You'll have to try it at least once. It goes all the way down to the promenade, slowly. So it's fun to grab a drink, go down, but then of course, you gotta come back up again. <laughs> you can see it's going in between Schooner Bar and Cafe Promenade. All right, let's take a look at the rest of Central Park. Let's just start off here at Chop's Grill. This is the steakhouse. It's part of the specialty dining plan. So there is an extra fee. I'm gonna place a link down below the description of the video that will explain the difference between specialty and complimentary for you, and the pricing. 
This is 150 Central Park West. All of the ingredients are of the finest quality. It's actually farm to cruise ship. It offers a six course meal, boasting a beautiful ambience. The first thing you're gonna do when you walk into Central Park is look up. <laughs> it's amazing. Then you're gonna walk down to the end and awe, and then come back. You might wanna have a seat here at Trellis Bar, relax and take in all the nice vegetation. It's amazing. There are dozens of different types of plants. If you look up, you'll see the balcony cabins. There are Central Park balcony cabins, so just be aware that not all cabins are ocean view. Central Park is full of really cool dining venues. One of my favorites is Park Cafe. It's what I like about Park Cafe is it is a perfect spot to just stop in and grab yourself a snack or a light meal. It's perfect if you like soup, salads, sandwiches, paninis. There's also a coffee station over here if you'd like a specialty coffee and you can also uh, go over to the drink station if you'd like just a regular drink. Grab a seat and sit outside if you like and if you have a Central Park cabin don't be surprised if you hear a live violin player or a guitar player. Let's take a look at the specialty Italian restaurant. This is Giovanni's Table. If you enjoy rustic Italian flavors, for example those old world classics, then you'll love Giovanni's. Close to Giovanni's is Vintage's. It's a wine bar. Right when you go in you'll notice there's a huge table which is perfect for big parties. There is a bar and plenty of places to sit down and relax, plenty of couches and chairs. Let's take a look at the music hall. The music hall is a fun spot. They always have premium bands play live music. There's a dance floor right in front of where the band plays, a bar, and if we go up the stairs, there's a pool table and another bar. And there's seating all around up here, and so if you want, you can look down on the band while they play. Let's head on into the main dining room. The main dining room spans three decks. However, each deck has its own entrance. So when you get on the cruise ship, it'll be written on your key card from what deck you're supposed to enter. The dining room has either an early or a late dining, or you can opt for the my time dining, which is anytime between six and 9.30. Right around the corner from the main dining room is Izumi. Izumi is the Abachi Grill and Sushi Bar. So you can sit over here at one of these tables and the chef will cook the food right in front of you. Or you can sit at a regular table. Right here is a sushi bar. Right around the corner from Izumi on deck four and across from one of the main dining room's entrances is Casino Royale. Right when you walk in, there's a bar. It's in the center of the casino. To the left, you'll find a lot of the card tables, and next to those, you'll find a lot of the slot machines. On the other side, it's almost identical. You're gonna find slot machines, card tables, and roulette. These stairs take you right up to the promenade. Right there is the Rising Tide Bar. Let's head on more toward the front of the ship. We're still on deck four, right next to the casino. This is Studio B. This is the ice skating rink. Here you can also watch really entertaining ice skating shows. This is Blaze. At night, it becomes the nightclub. Sometimes the comedians will perform here. Also, you can enjoy the silent party. It's a lot of fun. You'll see when all these activities take place on the cruise compass. Directly across from Blaze is Jazz on Four. Right when you walk in, you can see where the performers perform. To the left are chairs, and there's also some love seats. It's pretty cool. Straight ahead is the Royal Theater. When you first walk in, you'll see chairs all the way down to the stage. If you look up, you'll see there's second row seating, if you like that. This is the Royal Promenade. Let's take a look at Boleros. This is the Latin nightclub. So during the day, it's just a regular bar. People like to hang out, have a drink. And then at night, the bands come in and everybody dances to Latin music. There's a Starbucks right next to Boleros. Keep in mind that there's free coffee and the complimentary venues. On the other side of the Starbucks, there are tables and chairs if you want to relax. And right here in front of Starbucks is Spotlight Karaoke. When you first walk in, there's tables and chairs. There's a bar. The stage is right here at the center. And if you'd like a private room for groups, you can get one of your own private karaoke rooms. 
Let's take a look at the rest of the promenade. The promenade is fun. You'll enjoy parades, parties, such as 70s parties, 80s parties. This is Globe and Atlas. This is the pub, perfect place to grab a beer, and you can sit out on the promenade if you like. Also, you'll listen to live music, usually a solo singer. This is Sorrento's. This is the pizza place. You can grab yourself a slice of pizza and either sit in the side or you can grab yourself a table and chair out on the promenade and enjoy the view. This is an excellent spot to sit during one of the many parties that take place on the promenade. Get here early. Let's take a look at Cafe Promenade. Cafe Promenade is a complimentary venue. They serve sandwiches, croissants, sweets. You can grab a coffee. You can also get a specialty coffee. So you can either choose to get the free one or you can pay for one. Next to Cafe Promenade is guest services. They'll help you out with any questions you may have. Next to guest services, check this out, is the Rising Tide Bar. Across from guest services and next to the Rising Tide Bar is the Bionic Bar. This is a mechanical bartender. You come on in, you swipe your key card at one of the iPads, choose your drink, it's displayed here on the screen, and then the robot makes the drink for you. Let's head on up a deck. Right here is where you can reserve shore excursions. You can just do it right at the iPad. Also, this is focused so you can look at the photos that photographers take of you while you're on the ship. Across from here is Next Cruise. If you have fun while you're on board, check out Next Cruise. They'll help you book your next cruise and they're going to give you an excellent promotion. Then after that, give us a call and we'll provide you with an additional discount. This is Schooner Bar. Come in and enjoy a piano player and sing along with everybody else. There's awesome views of the promenade from up here. You can see the Rising Tide Bar. Also enjoy trivia at certain times. Let's take a look at the boardwalk. The boardwalk is all the way at the back of the ship. Remember the ultimate abyss slide? It comes all the way down into this area. While you're here on the boardwalk, you'll want to try one of the Coney Island hot dogs or sausages at the doghouse. When you first walk in, there are some games over to the right. In the center, you'll find the merry-go-round. If you look up, that's where the music hall is right there. And all the way up is the buffet. You'll see the balcony cabins right here. Straight ahead is the ultimate abyss. Straight ahead is Playmakers Sports Bar and Arcade. You can sit out here on the boardwalk if you like. There's TVs. There's a bar right when you walk in. There's TVs pretty much everywhere you look. There's a pool table right here. There is also another pool table on the other side. Right here is a couch if you'd like to relax. And check out these video games. There's Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, all those old games that we're used to. Over here is Johnny Rockets. If you like those old style diners, delicious burgers, and frothy shakes, then come check it out. Right here is the ultimate abyss that we saw earlier. It's huge. And right behind the ultimate abyss is the Aqua Theater. You're going to enjoy awesome shows here at the Aqua Theater. So check that cruise compass so you don't miss any. And right there is the rock climbing wall. Let's head on up to the front of the ship and take a look at the Vitality at Sea Spa and Fitness Center. A refreshing place to stop in at is the cafe. Get yourself a smoothie that's going to get you back on your feet again after having one of those late nights. Over here is the salon. So ladies, you can get your hair and nails done while you're on board. Gentlemen, there is also a barber shop for you. There are many different types of treatments, massages, and facials, and other services available. So come into the front desk and check it out. If you want to work out while you're on board, there are many different machines, free weights, treadmills, stair masters. You can take a yoga class. You can take a Pilates class. And if we go down a deck, take a look at this. This is the jogging track. Isn't this amazing? We're going to finish the tour down here. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's talk about how you can win a free cruise. When we launch a video as a premiere, we ask you to watch it with us. This means you'll be the first viewers to see it. In return for your support, we'll be doing a drawing amongst all of you. It's very easy. 
All you have to do is watch the video the first time that it is premiered and you can win a free cruise. To make sure you're notified, subscribe and ring that bell. Have a wonderful day and stay safe.